Hi, this is Previn with Pipedream. Today I'll show you how to use event sources and workflows to listen to a stream of tweets, analyze the sentiment using Node.js and NPM, save that data to Google Sheets, and run it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all in less than five minutes. As you watch, remember all the features you see, from event sources to actions, are composed of Node.js that you can easily customize to your own needs within our product, and I'll show you how to do that in a future video. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is create an event source to get new tweets. I'll select the Twitter app and the search mentions source. To configure it, I'll connect my account and add Pipedream's Twitter handle as the search keyword so the source will emit an event anytime someone mentions Pipedream in a tweet. Finally, I'll name my source and click Create. The Twitter source runs when you first create it, and it will emit the most recent data returned by Twitter's API. Each run after that will only emit new tweets. To use emitted events to help you build your workflow, click Create Workflow, Deploy, select the event you want to use to test, and then click Send Test Event to execute your workflow. Since I want to analyze the sentiment of each tweet, I'll add a Node.js code step, customize the name, and use the NPM sentiment package. I'll just copy the sample code from NPM and paste it into my code step. And then I'll replace their sample text with a reference to the tweet, which is event.fulltext. To use any NPM package on Pipedream, just require it. There's no package.json or npm install required. To test my changes, all I need to do is deploy and send another test event. Pipedream provides integrated observability so I can see standard output below the step and I can see the sentiment code worked. The console log is a great way to get quick feedback, but since I want to send some of this data to Google Sheets, I need to export it so I can use it in later steps. To do that, I just need to return the value that I want to export, and then I'll deploy and test to validate my change. When I do, I can inspect the data exported from the step, and I can reference that data from any future steps via the steps object. Next, I'll add an action to send data to Google Sheets. First, I need to connect my account, and then I need to configure the payload. There are three columns of data that I want to capture, the sentiment score, the username, and the tweet text. In my action, I'll add an element for each column. First, I'll add the sentiment score I returned in the previous step by using the steps object and referencing steps.sentiment.dollarreturnValue.score. And then I'll add the username and the tweet by referencing the event that triggered the workflow via the event object. Next, I'll configure the spreadsheet ID and sheet name. I can find the spreadsheet ID in the URL for my sheet, and I can find the sheet name in the worksheet tab at the bottom of the sheet. Once that's done, I'll deploy and test. As you can see, seamless autocomplete, instant deploys, and integrated observability make it really easy to build serverless workflows iteratively. After my test event is processed, I can inspect the execution for each step and I can also check that the data was inserted into Google Sheets. Next, I'll go ahead and run one more test. To do that, I'll just select another event and hit Send. Once I do, it's easy to confirm that tweet is also scored and sent to Google Sheets in real time. The last thing I need to do is enable the trigger step so any new events emitted by my source will be processed by this workflow. So give it a try and let us know if you have any questions or feedback. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Pipedream and join our public Slack at pipedream.com slash community. We can't wait to see what you build on Pipedream. Thanks for watching.